Five schools in Sussex go on lockdown today. It all started with a man firing a gun at a nearby business. Spencer Tracy joining us live from Woodside Elementary in Sussex tonight, where students had to spend a couple extra hours in class. Parents I spoke with tonight tell me they're on edge after what happened and unfolded this afternoon around this neighborhood. Police had this whole area completely surrounded and they eventually got a suspect to surrender. Hi, are you taking up the child? It was an afternoon of uncertainty in Waukesha County. Is it real? Um, it's a pretty real intense and range of emotions of is this real? David Flukev's wife was on her way to pick up their son Levi at Woodside Elementary. The email um, saying that the school is on lockdown. Lines of parents waited in their cars. It was not easy. Um, you know, really kind of concerned about what's going through, you know, a six year old's mind when they're staying an hour and a half past school time. We had to stay stay, stay inside um, as quiet as we could until like the, the end of the day. Heartland police say this all started when a 37 year old man started shooting in the parking lot of a business on Richards Road. The man then took off and drove to his home in Sussex. Police say they put five Sussex schools nearby into lockdown. And the vehicle came to a residence on Water Tower Court in the village of Sussex where the subject fled inside and barricaded himself. After a couple of hours, police say the man came out and was arrested. Woodside Elementary, which is across the street from the suspect's house, stayed in lockdown the longest until almost 5 p.m. Uh, this did have quite the impact on parents, and we thank them for their understanding during the situation. It brings reality closer to home. After an afternoon of chaos, parents in this community are holding their children a little tighter, relieved it all ended peacefully. And Harlan police say the man is charged with first degree reckless endangering safety as well as criminal damage to property. Police say during all of this, luckily, no one was injured. Reporting live tonight in Sussex, Spencer Tracy, Fox 6 News. And that is the silver lining. Spence, thanks.